Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Welcome back to the show. We are so excited to have Brian Physical Therapy and Wellness joining us here. Yes, for Ridgeland. Um, is it Missouri? Mississippi. Mississippi. I'm so sorry. You see, I saw the MS and I went froze. Uh, (laughs) Pleasure to have Dr. Alyssa Bryant here. We're going to talk to her today about her company, Bryant Physical Therapy and Wellness, and to talk more about the holistic care she offers, integrative nutrition, holistic health coaching. I mean, you do it all. A lot, a lot, actually. So tell us a little bit about your practice, please. Um, well, um, Brian Physical Therapy and Wellness, that's our practice. It, the key is to provide something different and provide holistic care. So we offer, that's why multiple services. Uh, we don't necessarily do it all, but the services are complementary. And, you know, you're getting help with your overall health, which also impacts your muscular and joint health and vice versa. So we include holistic physical therapy, integrated nutrition and holistic health coaching, local massage and fitness services. And many of the services are available virtually. Perfect. Well, first and foremost, let's tell them the website. How can we find you? Yes, it's bryantptandwellness.com. Perfect. And by the way, uh, I would love to get into your background before we talk about all the modalities you use from the coaching Mm -hmm. to the physical therapy itself. Yes. Can I find out a little bit about you? I know you had a really strong desire. You said to study health and wellness. Yes. Talk a little bit about that. And where did you grow up? So I grew up in Mendenhall, Mississippi. It's a very small town. Um, But my desire to be in the health and wellness field, that started in 2010. I actually was a very sickly child that struggled with autoimmune disease, specifically Crohn's disease. And that went on for eight years, most of my um, life up until 2010. Um, But I just decided there had to be something I could do to get better. And um, I'm a Christian praying woman, and I just prayed about that at the time. I just went through an emergency surgery. Um, I've been through eight years of my health progressively getting worse until it, you know, ended up as an emergency surgery. And at that point, I was 20 years old, and I just said, you know, I don't want to live this way. Like, there's got to be, there's got to be more answers. We were doing all the things, medication, Mm -hmm. and just whatnot, steroids and autoimmune or immune suppressants and things, and nothing was working. Yeah. And so what I came up with after some prayer in 2010 was I'm going to change my diet and I'm just going to see if this will work. And I just, I gave it my all, I cold Turkey quit just eating all junk food and sugar and things like that in 2010. Um, I did that pretty strictly for two years and thankfully it worked for me. Um, within a year of my health, I was completely different person. Oh my goodness. So, you know, I just developed a passion after that for telling people, like I I was telling everyone who would listen, my friends in college, like eat this way. Like this, this gave me my life back. I went on to college and had a normal college life and everything. Um, and anytime, so after two years, I would try and add back in junk food and still to this day, I get um, like IBS type symptoms, stomach symptoms, and then they will progressively worsen to autoimmune flares. Like I've tried some things for a month, like for me, grains, I can't eat any grains and try that for a month. And that's just something specific to me. But um, I tried to add it back in for a month and anyway, just um, developed a small Crohn's flare. And as soon as I cut them out, those symptoms went away again. And so it's just always amazed me and um, I continue to share it. And then instead of going to veterinarian school, that was yes, my Yes, that's right. You want to be, goal. I will be a veterinarian too when I was little. It's funny you said that. I read that. Yes. I wanted to go to veterinarian school and I was going to follow through with that. That was the, you know, goal for so long, but God like put it on my heart that we're going to do something different. And, um, eventually just morphed from health coaching and personal training into physical therapy. And, um, truly I just, it was a God thing because 
I, without the illness and everything, like, I don't know how else I would have wound up here. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, I know you mentioned you want to help everyone out there grow their overall health mm -hmm. and that's your mission. And you said you yeah. work with all different types of uh, people, different physical uh, fitness ability levels and to help them overcome all these obstacles. So exactly. It's exciting to have you here again. It's Brian, thank PT you, and wellness. That's spelled yes. B R Y A N T P T and wellness.com. And uh, thank you uh, for being here. Let's start off yes. by talking. Thank you for having me, by the way. You're welcome. Well, I know you want to talk, but <laughs> most important, it looks like it's your holistic health coaching. And yeah. by the way, this is national, this is virtual. We could do it anywhere around the world. Could you share yes. a little bit about that? So with the holistic health coaching, that is, you know, a step-by-step -step process mm -hmm. that I help people through um, just learning about um, burdens in diet, lifestyle, environment, and trying to not only teach them about them, but support them. So a lot of times we go to a nutritionist or we go to a doctor and they may give us a diet. Yep. You know, I even see more of that now, but then the person comes home and they're like, like, this is so new to me. Like, I don't know how to eat this way. I don't know how to cook yeah. this way. I don't know how to shop this way. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they may come to me and be like buying products and then I'll look at the ingredients and they're not what they needed. And, you know, they don't even know how to read the ingredient panel sometimes, you know, you know, it's just because you're new to it. I had to learn, people have to learn, but the point is, is, um, you need help, you know? So a health coach is that person that is the support person, you okay. know, you get to text and talk to. So my people have my direct number. They text and talk to me. Um, we do virtual grocery store tours or in person if they're local, we do pantry cleanouts, you know, but the other thing is, is all of that can be overwhelming anyway, unless you have someone who wants to pace you and, and understand that and, you know, make it a baby step process and that sort of thing. Um, so that's, that's really what I do. And then um, we just see, you know, what we can do for their health. And we watch, you know, whether it's weight loss, you know, things like that improve, their energy improves. Um, you know, my weight actually became healthy, um, but in the opposite way um, with what I do. And, um, but regardless of that, you know, it's how you feel and what you can do. And even um, being able to do things like getting on and off the floor and squat and skip and learning how to make that possible again, if that's an issue. Well, thank you for sharing that. And also, yes. let me ask, um, you know, you've been doing this for how long now? And can I just get asked a little bit about your training background yeah. and your so, schooling? Thank you. Yes, I have been health coaching since 2013. And that was an integrative nutrition health coaching certification and um, personal training certification at that time that I started with. Um, also through the National Academy of Sports Medicine for the personal training. The Institute of Integrative Nutrition is um, where I got my health coaching certification. And a lot of the instructors for that course, they were, it was a national led course. Um, the doctors and things, they were about holistic you know, modalities and medicine, functional medicine and things. And um, it was a wonderful course. I highly recommend the Institute of Integrative Nutrition, which it's been 10 years or 11 years since I've done that. Um, but I went on, I had my bachelor's degree in state shortly after that, um, Mississippi State University, um, Bulldogs. But um after that, it was a couple of years out just doing the health coaching work, training work, and decided that I was going to follow through with grad school. And um, a physical therapist in Louisville, Mississippi, inspired me to go to physical therapy school at the University of Mississippi Medical Center. And um, I was there for three years and finished that degree in 2019. And I added that to my services after that and um, started this business in 2020 during the pandemic. Um, but that's that's where I'm 
you know, that's where it's all from. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Well, thank you for sharing that. And I know yes. also what's very important to you for us to talk a little more about today. Um, by the way, the, the, the physical therapy you're doing mm -hmm. as well. So it's, it's, it's a combination process, really. Yes. What mm -hmm. did you want to uh, talk a little more about that or? Yeah. Like just explain some of like the goal of therapy or what we're yes. doing. Yes. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. So physical therapy is another way to improve your health and um, the resources and info that I try to provide is of lifetime use. Um, a lot of people don't even know what physical therapy is, you know, what we can do for them. So, you know, we can talk about that. I want our um, professionals, other people in the feel to get better at yeah. explaining to people what physical therapy has to offer. So many people may think it's just hospital-based care or, you know, after major, major injuries or just, you know, um, learning to walk again, that type of thing. But there is so much that we can offer just from a fitness perspective and mm -hmm. just in daily life. So, um, also, from the holistic perspective that we provide, the nutrition is important, you know, talking about whole foods, yeah. but we're making sure our therapy is comprehensive. And so we're like, yes, these exercises and, you know, this treatment is one key. And then I'm also going to teach you about other keys that support your goals physically. So, um, you know, we teach people how to squat again. Like I said, get on and off the floor again. I, I'm 46. Again. I don't know if I could do these things again, but it's like, <laughs> yes, yeah, we get well, older. I, it's, it's harder. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. My husband, you know, which anyway, people which in John. their 30s. I know John's your husband, yes. right? <laughs> yes. Um, my husband, John, but people in their Hold on, we lost you one second. People in their 30s you see that go away in my practice when they work with me. We find out what's tight, what's weak. And I'm sorry, my internet connection says it's unstable. So, um, yeah, but, you just broke okay. up for a second, but we got it okay. back. But we recover the flexibility and the weakness in my practice, the strength and conditioning. And then, you know, I have people who come to see me for like their CrossFit or their workout issues. You know, they may be running and very active, but then they can't squat and things like that with any stability. And so we address all of that and it's exciting and it's fun. Um, but from thirties, you know, all the way to seventies, we're working on things like this and plus, um, but you know, I see a lot of older adults who don't know how to skip anymore. And we're like, when did we lose this? And also we stopped doing these things. We can't stop or it's going to get worse. Like right now, mm -hmm. if people in their thirties go, oh, it's uncomfortable to get on and off the floor, I'm just not going to do it. And I'm just going to sit in this one position yeah. all the time, maybe on a couch, you know, you will stiffen up to that. And then anyway, it's just going to get worse. So do what you need to do to get better and um, function and speak with someone like me to help with that. Um, do we talk about, let's see, just injury prevention, injury recovery. We definitely do that too. We work with people after motor vehicle accidents and trauma mm -hmm. like that also. And um, yeah, that, that covers a lot of it. Well, also, I know you were talking a little about the importance of joint health. You want to talk about, uh, you know, functional assessments with all these exercise programs and you're physically able to do physical therapy in person. And this is in yeah. Mississippi, what area again? Mm -hmm. um, Ridgeland, Mississippi. Perfect. And R -I -D -G -E, um, R because there's there's two cities that so we often oh. spell out the R-I-D-G-E Ridgeland. Well, I also like hearing, um, you know, testimonials and client stories. Uh, yes. Do you mind sharing a little bit about your work and what people are saying and how you've helped yeah. them? Um, would you like me to pull up some Google reviews? And, oh, like, sure. That'd be great. That? And I'm for you, think those... I could do it easily. Perfect. And just right now, just to remind everyone oh. uh, how we can reach you. So bryantptandwellness.com. Um, there's something also on the website that I just had a question about, if you don't mind. I was reading sure. about. Tell me. You also do massage, but also myofascial release. What is myofascial yes. release? I've heard of it. Just curious. 
Yes. So it is a form of massage. I am, you know, basically think about it as deep tissue massage. Um, we do some active release techniques too, but um, that's more passive, but just meaning I'm hands-on and um, I will work out discomfort that way too. I'm also trying to find your Zoom meeting. Okay, there it is. Um, but yes, I'm trying to work out deep tissue, you know, whether you want to call it knots or whatever, um, dense areas where it's painful. So I may see a back pain patient, you know, and we do usually find muscle spasms and tension in their back and they don't know sometimes that that's what's going on. And so I use it um, at least briefly in physical therapy and then outside of physical therapy for tension um, and in massage. But we work out that area that way and it helps them better tolerate the exercise and treatment that's, you know, in addition to that. And we see really good results from it and people can relax and get tension, you know, that's caused from stress and issues like that reduced that way. It's awesome. more of our short term solution for okay. pain relief. And then um, we work out the other reasons for that developing and we want it to any of that tension or knots, you know, so to speak, or dense, extra density, those muscle spasms, we want them to be less frequent. And so over time, and that be less of a need, but it's really useful from the beginning when that is um, existing. We may see a back pain patient and they may not know that their calves and their hamstrings and these other areas are actually really tense too, and that it's all connected. And so wow. we're looking at that too and working that out um, at least briefly if we need to. Oh, well, thank you for that. And yeah, I would love to hear some of the clients you're working with. I mean, do you have people that you health coach, right? You're working with for physical therapy reasons. Um, but I also read on the website, you offer a free consultation, right? So if someone's interested in working mm -hmm. with you, can you just share what's the, the phone number to call? Yes, it's 601-382-1868. And so, you know, we can just briefly go over your concerns and then explain, you know, what we have to offer and just um, see if we can benefit, you know, you and, and work together and um, do what we need to do for you. Oh, all right. Thank you so much. Well, let's talk about some of the, the clients that you have. Any okay. stories in particular you want to share? It's always good to hear yes. what people are experiencing with you. I'm going to, I'm on the Google review page because I don't really know like how to speak for people other than just summary. You know what I mean? Um, when I think this is going to help me. Let's see here. Yeah. <laughs> Reviews. Um, there they are. Okay. So one of our recent reviews said I had my first appointment today and already booked my second session. I appreciated the professional yet laid back atmosphere and personalized experience. She focused on the areas I needed relief and was very, very thorough and highly recommend. And with that person, we started with my fascial release and also exercise and um, did a thorough assessment and found flexibility and weakness and addressed all of that. And we create a home exercise program that is very detailed videos that allows someone to also work on their own as much as they want to. Um, the other thing I should say is that we make therapy very affordable and accessible and mm -hmm. what we do. And so someone can choose to see us as often or, you know, as um, few times as they like, you know, with that independent exercise program and in, in such a relevant case. Our health coaching program is like a six month program. So like it's best to, you know, decide to make these baby steps over time. And that's why we do that. Aww. And then um, this is another review. It says Alyssa is highly skilled and offers both a therapeutic and medical type massage. I have used several other myofascial specialists and she by far is the best. She listened intently to my concerns, addressed them, and even found areas I didn't even know were tight. I schedule her at least once a month now as I get a long lasting relief from her treatments. And our next case is after a motor vehicle accident. She said they really, uh, Bryant Physical Therapy really came to my aid after my auto accident and the pain level was a 10 plus, mm -hmm. but the comfort and knowledge performed on me by Alyssa was excellent. And I thank her for taking care of my injuries. And um, of course we have more um, 
someone said they couldn't have recovered as fast without her kind help. And that was for a knee injury. Um, but, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you can find reviews on Google. Just search Bryant Physical Therapy and Wellness. Well, it's always good to hear how you're helping people. So thank you for well, sharing thank that. You. And, and I'm very thankful, too, for their kind reviews. And um, But truly, we're in. I'm in this field because I'm passionate about it and want to help. Beautiful. And also, um, you know, just reading more about you, um, you just love helping people with overall goals. Has there ever been a challenge? Um, I know your original story. Anyone else? Is there a good story? Uh, you know, you had the Crohn's, right? Do you, still right. Ha- do you still have that or does that go away eventually? Just curious. They say you always have it. Okay. Um, so, you know, I'm not going to challenge necessarily that mm-hmm. um, medical whatever, but um I do not, I'm not affected by it anymore unless I eat the things I'm not supposed to. So what should have happened is I should have been evaluated for food sensitivities early on in my uh, life in that journey. So you and, do you recommend people to get that if they're yes, having those problems to yes. get those, go to their doctor, get, uh-huh. it's, it's, which guess, a lot of doctors, they don't, don't, don't do. honestly, and back then, especially were just like, diet won't help you. Here's your immunosuppressants. Here's your steroids. And unfortunately, those didn't help me either. And I almost died in the process. So, and what happens is, is in Crohn's disease, your gut tissue, your lining actually breaks down. And so mine became perforated too. And that was what ended up as an emergency surgery. Um, But it, it, it's killing the gut tissue. My body will have an immune reaction to eating certain things and self, you know, have self-destruction in that area. But, um, for me, that was what it took. Now everyone's different. Um, there, we look at, you know, environmental burdens and lifestyle burdens too. Stress is an, is definitely a player and there's some other things, but for me, that's the biggest player. Um, and other people have these issues. So I'm actually in national, international, we'll say international support groups on Facebook. Back when I got started, I got started in Yahoo groups. Um, throw back to that. Um, but anyway, these people are saying like, yes, I changed my diet and I got better. And they're, you know, also upset that no one told them it was possible, but you've got people on both sides of the aisle going, it's not possible. And it is possible. And you've got people who choose what they believe, um, to get better and make this, um, you know, I don't know, quote unquote, go away. But uh, my last flare was in 2000. Well, 2010 was one of those flares in 2018. Okay. Um, I got mold poisoned. Oh my gosh. And I, mo- I moved into a camper with mold. And so we actually found out mold is a player for me. Wow. And I didn't realize the camper had that mold. Obviously I just moved into a decent yep. camper that we bought to like maybe do some travel therapy. And, um, unfortunately, um, within six months of living there, I was really sick and I was like, what is going on? Like, why all of a sudden? And so some people will tell you that even if you, um, you know, don't have a flare for so long, they call it a flare. You may flare at a different point in your life. But for me, this was mold. I went to a functional medicine doctor who determined it. She helped me, you know, cleanse my system of that mold and after as soon as I moved out and within a year I was completely fine again and so you're talking about for me the flare that in childhood it never went away I was basically sick for eight years because of what wasn't addressed and then um 2002 2010 and then in 2018 when I experienced a flare again it wasn't my diet at that point it was just mold and but I went again i I couldn't figure that out at the time. So I went to a functional medicine that's a holistic practitioner and she figured it out. And instead of me being sick for eight years, you know, bam, I was, you know, doing well again. So again, there's other variables and such. Um, In the South mold is pretty common, unfortunately, Mm -hmm. the humidity here. And so we do um, evaluate for that. I think here, the holistic, especially the functional medicine nurse practitioners and things will evaluate for that. And, um, you know, I've only had those, that one flare since. And again, it was quickly 
dissipated from whatever from just figuring that the the actual root calls out and yep. solving it all right well mm-hmm. thank you so much i yeah. mean we still have two minutes left in the show so how did you yeah. want to uh close off for today um let's see um what haven't i talked about oh, <laughs> we do um also like just to kind of give it a title, the muscular and joint health and functional assessments with exercise programs. So that's kind of our fitness side, like seeing what's going on at your joints and with your muscles, with the flexibility and weakness. That's what I was describing earlier. And, um, hmm. I am well, just trying to figure that out. Well, why should we contact <laughs> you, right? What would you right. say? In closing today, tell us yes. you know, what what makes you unique. And clearly you're a passionate, compassionate, sure. you have a lot of great reviews. Uh, what would you say yeah. if someone's interested and in why they should call? Um, you know, health is so important. A lot of us are ignoring it and I get it. Life is busy, stressful. There's a lot going on in today's world, but it's true that when you ignore it, you know, the problems get worse and eventually they may just sit you on your, you know, butt anyway. Um, and then you're just out of work and out of life. And, you know, if I didn't do what I do, I'd be really sick. And I don't even know if I'd, you know, be married to my husband and have my, my three-year-old, um, because at oh, one point in my life, you have a boy, a girl, how, yes, tell me. a little boy. Oh my, what's his name? <laughs> Uh, Brooks. Brooks Wonderful. Bryant. Oh my mm-hmm. goodness. What a cute name. Yes. See, I didn't know that. Oh my goodness. Wonder. Yes. I have a seven and nine year old, two little boys. Yes. Like, oh my goodness. But if I wouldn't have addressed honestly my own health, I don't, I don't think I would have ever been well enough for that. So, okay. um, anyway, it, health is, is truly an investment and, um, a wealth, um, and we, you know, just need someone who can help us. And like I said, if you're tired of like just being told what to do without actually any support around it, you know, you can contact us. We're doing one-on-one care. We're not in, you know, a group gym setting with, you know, um, a therapist distracted by multiple, um, you know, cases and that sort of thing. We're here for you when you're in our office with us or whether you're on our virtual call with us or on the phone with us. Um, You have my direct number and um, it's truly a supportive and immersive experience to work with us and um, address health issues and make it possible to just maintain your health and grow your health in a a baby step situation if you want to go slow or fast. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much. Pleasure having you here. Looking forward to getting to uh, know you further. Just one more time. Tell us how we can reach out to you for that free consultation, please. Sure. Please um, reach out to us. My phone number is 601-382-1868. And um, we also have another line. If you can't reach us there, it's 601-308-3771. And, um, you know, that's, that's the main way to get a Thank hold you. of us the quickest. Um, All you right. can find our website, brightptandwellness.com too. Beautiful. Well, thank you so much. Pleasure having you here. Looking yes. forward to the next time we get to thank connect. Thank you. Thanks again. Thank you. And to all of our listeners, please stay tuned. More of the show's coming right up after the break. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on mytuner-radio.com or search Podcast Business News Network on streama.com and onlineradiobox.com slash US. Take your podcast on the go and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's, it's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage-free, fully adaptive, handicap-accessible house. And there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. 
We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's going to be okay.